Hey there, Kim here with Little Biz Resources, and today I'm going to be talking about high ticket affiliate marketing and how you can get started right after you watch this video. All right, so first, what is affiliate marketing? And a spoiler alert, this is one of the two methods I discuss in my ebook, $10,000 a month with only 10 sales, and the link is in the description. Now, affiliate marketing, according to Oxford Languages, and I have a qualification to this, but they say is a marketing arrangement by which an online retailer pays commission to an external website for traffic or sales generated from its referrals. Okay, you don't have to have a website. Honestly, you don't. Um, you can do affiliate marketing without a website. You can do affiliate marketing pretty much with nothing except for the affiliate link, but I don't recommend that. It's just you can. So affiliate marketing really is when you are an independent person, so you're not an employee, and you promote a product and you re receive referral commissions or affiliate commissions. But the important part is a lot of people think that commission means employee. It doesn't. It just means the percent or dollar amount you get paid if a sale is made from your referral. So what is high ticket affiliate marketing? High ticket affiliate marketing is the technique of promoting high ticket affiliate products. I know that's a no, no to use in the definition, but we're going to define high ticket as generally meaning the cost of the program is $500 or more. Now, some programs will make it higher and actually we want to aim for high. So let's look at that. So this benefits affiliates, right? High ticket affiliate marketing benefits affiliates when the commissions remain higher. So the percentage of the commissions are higher or the dollar amount is higher and programs are a higher cost. So for example, a $2,500 program that offers a 50% commission would pay affiliates $1,250 per sale, less any fees through the platform processing the payments. So I want that, I'm putting that out there so you don't go one day, Kim, you told me 50% means I get 50%. Well, it's gonna be a little bit less because there's always fees. Now I have a program that I can promote that is a $5,000 program and the commissions start at 25% and increase with higher sales. Then goes up to like 40%. But even at 25%, that's $1,250 per sale. So that's high ticket affiliate marketing. So how can I start promoting high ticket affiliate products? I know that's what everybody wants to know. So first, we're gonna assume that we're only gonna target high ticket affiliate products that actually pay out a high commission. So probably not Amazon, right? Amazon, I think has a range of like one to 5%. Some of their stuff is 10% maybe. I don't know, they keep changing that and making it lower. So we're probably not gonna be looking at Amazon. Now the program availability depends on some variables, but rest assured there are a few high ticket affiliate products you can promote right now. Well, as soon as you're done watching this. So let's look at some challenges with finding programs and then we'll look at ways to overcome those challenges because you very well may have affiliate programs and products in your back pocket that you don't know about. So let's look at those challenges. Then we're gonna look at ways to overcome those challenges. And then I'll tell you how you can get access to some programs immediately. So challenges for finding high ticket affiliate programs. So the three core challenges with finding programs are Evergreen versus Launch, some programs only permit their users to promote the products and some programs only permit experienced affiliate marketers to promote, to promote their products. So let's look at these a little bit deeper and see how we can ever overcome those challenges. Okay. So evergreen versus launch and these, you may have heard different definitions for these. So these are just going to be general definitions. So evergreen is a product that can be purchased at any time, usually year round, right? So usually throughout the entire year. Now, sometimes, it can be evergreen with the exception of like launch periods, right? They may say, hey, look, this is what it is during evergreen. This is what it is during launch. So evergreen just means that it's available during non-launch times. So a launch, on the other hand, is a product that is only available during a specified period of time. Now, most high ticket affiliate product launches will last 10 to 14 days for the buy period. Sometimes they'll go longer, sometimes they'll go shorter. Typically you have about two to three weeks, sometimes a month to promote it. A lot of times what will happen is they'll have you start sending them to like pre-webinars or pre-sales pages before the actual cart opens. So the cart will tend to be open so people can actually buy for about 10 to 14 days. Now some high ticket affiliate products tend to do better with the launch. So some programs restrict affiliates to promoting only during the launch period. And this is where the challenge comes, right? 
for the most part, there are a lot of programs that will pop up and they're only available once a year, once every three years. And so you only have that, you know, two weeks to four weeks to really promote the program. Now a launch helps generate scarcity. So it makes it so it's only available for a limited time. And there's other reasons behind that. It's not just to develop scarcity, right? A lot of these um, higher ticket products are are programs. And if they're offering coaching and they're, they don't want to be offering somebody coaching who's coming in a year after somebody else, right? Or six months after somebody else, they want to offer that same coaching for the period so they can, they can maximize their resources. So a launch in these cases is, is beneficial, not just for scarcity, but when you're thinking of it for selling, it really is a benefit benefit to have it for scarcity. Now this increases sales because people don't want to miss out, right? They don't want to miss out. They're like, Hey, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this later or if it's going to be available later. So I want to buy it now. Now there are some where you need to own the program first. So the, what will happen is you buy the program, you own the program, and then you can promote the program. So for vendors, the reason why they may do this is because it helps ensure the affiliate has familiarity with the program, which increases the odds that the affiliate shares accurate information. This is a really, really, really easy one to overcome, right? Check your high ticket affiliate products that you've purchased or your high ticket products that you purchased. Look to see if they have an affiliate program. Even if they do say, hey, experience required, a lot of times you reach out to them and say, hey, I'd like to, I'm starting out in affiliate marketing. I'd like to promote this product because I own it. And they'll say, okay, here you go, right? So this is an easy way. If you've purchased high ticket products, software programs, whatever it is, look to see if they have affiliate programs. Now, also vendors will tend to waive the requirement of owning it for experienced affiliates that will generate enough sales. And of course that varies based on the vendor. Now, what if you need experience? What if they're saying, Hey, you know what? We are only going to allow experienced affiliates to promote this. I'm going to tell you now, the definition of experienced varies significantly, right? Significantly. So some programs want affiliates to have a large email list. That'll be the requirement. They don't even say, Hey, we want experience. We want you to have, you know, 10,000 people on an email list. And, and, and a lot of times you don't find this out until you've been turned down, right? So you apply to the program. They say, sorry, you're not, you don't meet our requirements. Okay. Well, what are your requirements? If they tell you, you might find out that it's, Hey, we want, we only want people who have large email lists of 10,000 or more or 5,000 or more, something like that. They may say, Hey, we want a guaranteed minimum number of people for a live webinar. Can you show us that you've had this many people on in a prior live webinar? Right. So they, they want you to cite your site where you've done this already. And then sometimes they'll say, look, we want you to show that you've had prior sales. Sometimes it could be five, right? Oh, we want to see that you've had, you've sold at least five, five products in the past that are high ticket or, Hey, we want to, we, heck, I think there's been one. I think there was one I went to that they wanted one. They're like, have you ever sold a high ticket affiliate product before? Right? So that's, that's kind of where it's like, it varies significantly. So don't let the terminology or the requirements of needing experience sway you from exploring those, right? So again, check your programs or products, check the products you have already purchased. I have one program that's, I mentioned this already. It's 5,000. It's actually 5,000 to 6,000, depending on if they get the payment plan and I can promote it simply because I own it. Now I know that they have opened that up to experienced affiliate marketers as well. That's how they built to begin with, right? So they're not limited to, it's just, I get that perk of being able to promote it because I own the product. Most high ticket affiliate products are information programs. So they're, you know, coaching, coaching type or walk you through course, you know, eight week type programs, 12 week. So they kind of teach how to do something, but think about anything that you paid at least $500 for. And it's like, it can be a one-time fee, I guess, but if it's like an annual one, that's a good one too, right? Cause that's kind of recurring. And then of course, ideally, if you have ones that you've paid $2,000 or more, you know, when I bought the program, the $5,000 program, it was $5,000. That was the last time they were going to sell it. They closed the program down two years later, things changed opportunity opened up. So they reopened the program and it's been open ever since, but they had closed it down. So it just kind of, you just got kind of go through what you have, what you, you know, go through your receipts, just think back and look and see if there's anything that you ha you can easily get access to, because that'll give you a leg up over somebody else who d hasn't purchased the program. 
And of course, if you haven't purchased any high ticket products, that's okay. Not everybody's like Kim and spends money left and right. I get told that all the time. So no, the Kim likes to spend money. Um, we do have other methods and you can typically overcome this requirement with experience. So, and again, like I mentioned, sometimes it's just one. So you maybe promote one of the products or one of the programs that we're telling you to do and you say, Hey, you know what? I've, I've done this. I have experience now. And then you can move on to ones that have experience or you can reach out and see if that experience is enough. And then experience. Kim, you've been talking about experience all along. What does it mean? So if you want to target programs that only permit experienced affiliate marketers, just get experience. If you're new to affiliate marketing, check out my free affiliate marketing course. The link's in the description. You do not have to start with high ticket affiliate products. These are frequently harder to promote. I say that loosely because I think I promote, I think I sell just as many high ticket affiliate products as I do lower ticket or regular ones, right? It's, it just kind of depends on the audience and everything else. So you do not have to start with high ticket if you're not comfortable doing that, or if you just want to, you know, have a better odds of promoting something a little bit less expensive, then you can start with any product you want and feel comfortable promoting. Okay. Perhaps you want to promote software, you know, especially recurring cost software. And, um, those think about the things that you have and you own and something that you'd be happy to promote. Check and see if they have an affiliate program. You know, if you have a software program that you use and you're paying monthly for it, you're like, Hey, I want to see if they have a, a, an affiliate program. I'm going to tell you, so like even software like Adobe, they have an affiliate program or had one. I don't know if they still do, but it's a nightmare to get approved for it. So sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it's not. So you can just check what you have. Think about things that you'd be happy to talk about and promote and say, Hey, well, let me see if I can promote that with, you know, my experience. So uh, keep an eye out for launches. Right now, I mentioned this, that launches tend to be where you have a lot of the big ticket programs, especially ones that offer, you know, internal coaching or something where they, maybe they have an eight week program and they want for eight weeks, they're going to be coaching those people, right? There's a program I, I promote in January and hopefully again, this next January that is only available once a year. They only open it for that period. That's it, right? Then they close it and it's a, I believe it's a $3,500 product, 50% commission. So it's a good product to promote. But for launch programs, you just need to keep an eye on the launches that are coming up. Start building an audience before the launch so you have a list to send the info to when the program is available. If you're in a specific niche, just start offering your freebies, find some lower ticket products to promote or whatever to keep your list going and keep it engaged. Start your YouTube channel, whatever you're gonna do. And then of course, keep it on the launches. So munchai.com is the most popular one. Honestly, it's the only one I know of that's an actual site that you can go to. I've checked with other ones that, oh yeah, go here. They don't either don't work, don't have enough information or it's not updated, right? I mean, there's a couple of them that there's another one that I think you can pay to get access to. It's a nightmare. So munchai.com will get you plenty of information. It'll get you links to, um, JV or joint venture documents and everything else. So you can check that out. You can also sign up for notifications from vendors you like. So if you, for example, JV Zoo, if you're like, Hey, I really like this person's products and I like to promote more, make sure you're signed up to get notifications for when they release additional products in the future. All right. So of course, this is the question everybody really wants to know is how to find high ticket affiliate products you can promote right now, right? Or right meow, like my daughter says. So, and I taught her that she didn't get that from the movie. I taught her that. So start with my list of programs in my free ebook, $10,000 a month with only 10 sales. The link's in the description. Or if you just want the list and you're like, Kim, I know what I'm doing. I don't care about your ebook, which you should, because it's awesome. Right. I'm already doing a version 2.0 though. So, and I just released version 1.0 like a week ago. So get the ebook if you want that and some more details and everything else. Or if you just want the list, you're like, Hey, I'm sold on high ticket affiliate marketing. And I just want a list of products that I can get started with. There is a link specifically to a list that you can get access to and it will update. And when you're on that list, and I tell you this in the opt-in that I will email you when I see things that are coming up or kind of give you a heads up on things that I know about, right? So that way you can start preparing. Um, all right. So the link in the description, you can just get the list. It has high ticket affiliate programs and recommended recurring software to promote. 
plus some other resources in case you're interested. All right, so additional resources to get you started. In addition to the quick checklist, you can get the ebook like I mentioned. There we have a, I say we as an I, but eventually there will be a we. Sometimes my sister helps me out, but right now she's really busy. So I set up a free affiliate marketing course. You can get a link to that. And then you can join me every Thursday on YouTube or Facebook, whichever one you prefer, and ask questions live. So please, if you are interested in this type of information, I mostly do, you know, different types of ways to make money from home. So make money online things, e-commerce, e we do a lot of e-commerce, Etsy, Amazon, stuff like that. And which is again, another make money from home. I like to do affiliate marketing and I also teach about selling services. So it's all related to make money from home. Plus we also do marketing, which is teaching you how to then turn your monetization into actually making the money, right? So we try to do, it's not a full service because we can't walk you through every single step so far, but right now we do have a lot of information and tips for, to help you just kind of connect it all. So if that's something you're interested in, please subscribe. And if you like this video, then hit the like button, please. And thank you very much. And again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or you can reach out to me through the Facebook group. And I thank you for watching.